Do 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 do. Ah, how great is it? We're back in to our Minecraft series. It's Aiden here, and welcome back. So, I've been doing some off-camera work for this video, um, and in preparation, we did quite a lot. I did figure out that for the last two episodes, we were really unproductive. And compared to the stream I did, I did do a stream by the way. So compared to the stream I did, this this was probably a little way too unproductive. I could I figured out that many of you got a bit bored. So now we're gonna change all of that. I am changing. So yeah, now we're all going always going to be productive hopefully right now we're back in this world it's been a really long time since you guys seen this so i will lead you around because there are quite a lot of changes one of which you could clearly see now and it, no it's not our beautiful house that is a change a small change but the whole world has changed Wait a if you minute. look around doesn't the world look a bit brighter a bit different a bit more realistic nope and that's why we have a shader here so a shader is in our video I will probably be turning it off because our frame rates are dropping tremendously but anyways I think this is pretty cool right I really think that this whole shader thing gives us a shiny new look and by the way yes when i was off camera and doing streaming i did get full iron armor so that's a lot of stuff we got an iron helmet iron chest plate so on and if we look all the way over here we have a whole tree situation going on now you may be thinking why would i need like a tree farm or tree stuff near my base if i could just go and head off well that's the whole problem because there isn't really many forests or at least i don't know of any so far in this world so that's really close by so basically it means that the whole tree situation and the cutting down trees thing would be really hard for me so i have to create something like this that will be a really good because i could start cutting down trees as soon as possible yeah it's getting late um this shader is going to have to go so i'll show you around later oh look at the water it's really reflective too and the cods so why don't we go on and turn the shader off all right now that i have the shader off it does look quite a bit different so it doesn't have that shadowy look it doesn't have the shades but i still like the original look we still have the desert temple here and we still have a beautiful ocean all the way over there of course i did do base progression so here is the new base i can show you around what i did realize was that the base was a little way too small so this episode hopefully we could get some base progression and yeah hopefully we could expand the base a bit and get everything done i will try and show you around a bit more we have a clearer view of the environment so of course we still have our vegetation station as i like to call it uh, we have the wheat going we have the carrots that means we would probably not lose a supply of food. Yes, let's harvest those carrots. What we also notice is that the world is much clearer. So I did do some landscaping. Um, and over here, you might see some granite. Now, you might be thinking, why would there be granite here? Well, one main reason is because we have created an underground mine so this does go all the way down to bedrock which is amazing and that's how i also got all of these stuff the iron sword the iron picks 
and all of those on stream and I did of course build stairs so it's easier for me to get up and down so why don't we go down and do some exploring because I will show you around when I will be mining so we are here on Y level uh, let me see one eternity later we are on Y level 12 so we did do some mining uh, we found no diamonds so nothing to show here but we did find quite a bit of stuff like for example iron uh, we did find redstone a lot of gold yeah a heap of gold and much more so what I think I'm gonna do is continue mining I'm gonna use stone tools for now because I don't want to lose anything so why don't we mine with the stone tools first Ooh, the first things that's interesting redstone so let's take that and see what's behind it another piece of redstone more pieces of redstone and nothing that's disappointing but that doesn't really matter because we are just doing a bit of mining and we could expect something like that to happen why is there so much dirt this is so weird there's so much dirt Oh, granite. This is a granite chunk. Oh, there's a lot of invalid values. I don't know what that is. Open GL value. What's that? Oh, and there goes my stone pickaxe. What's the open GL value? Um, I really don't know. Let me let me check. Yeah, I really don't know. So I'm going to check and I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out that it was an error, which was unfortunate. And I don't really know how to fix it either. So yeah, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, so I'm going to have to light up this place again because it's so dark. It's so dark. And yeah, it, it's pretty sad. I had to hide the chat for this whole thing. We did get some stuff though, like we get we got cobblestone and a bit of granite. Nothing much. But if you do know a way to fix that problem and what the problem is, please leave it in the comments down below because I would be happy to accept your comment and shout it out. Now you see, with a pick we could start mining again. So this process would last for a while. But I'll be back when I find something interesting. We have really reached our doom, haven't we? Ah, uh, this was a bad idea. I knew it. I forgot to get more torches, so... That means we'll just have to go all the way back and get some torches. Ooh, also look at our inventory for a second because we have a lot of stuff like our stone sword. We have a lot of gold ingots. I think enough for us to get armor and we do have an extra iron pickaxe, a crossbow and from those we did get extra stone bricks, one cracked stone brick uh. which isn't really that great but we still have a lot of stuff here now where are my torches here they are and just in case i'm going to bring half of my coal or nearly half of my coal to be accurate and i'm going to turn a lot of those into torches 32 torches should be good yep so let's head on and go back into the mine. Here it is, our first block of lapis. Let's take a look and mine it up. Ooh, the experience.
goodness. I didn't see that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look here. Look over here. We found our first piece of diamond. Now, what? What? Oh man, Let, we need to dig this up and see how many pieces we have. We have a cave? We're not going in there. But we need to dig all of this up. Yeah, and see basically how much we have. Because there could be a lot and there could also be not much. Which hopefully isn't the case. So far it doesn't seem like there's many. Alright. I would preferably like at least like six, yeah. Six would be a good amount. Let's dig up and see how many we have. Oh, we just broke the torch. That wasn't great. Yeah, so I'm not going to get the diamonds immediately. Or should I? Because I do have a enchantment book that gives me fortune. So maybe I should just get the diamond quickly. And then I might be able to put it on fortune. Though... I do kind of want to, yeah, I do kind of want to, you know, take the chances and just take the diamond quickly because diamonds are pretty rare. So I think that's about it. Yeah, that's not many diamonds. It's good enough, I'll say. But it's not the best. It's not the greatest. Like, we could have more. Yeah, so you know what? I think we will just take that diamond. The diamonds. Because diamonds are great. Yay, diamonds. So that was a chunk of five diamonds. Could have been more, but it was just five. I'm pretty happy with five diamonds. So yeah. There went nothing. Oh no. And there's a cave. Yeah, I think this is not safe anymore. I'm going to have to end the strip mine right here because it's been a long... It's, it went a long way. So now that we have the five diamonds, we have to decide what we want to do with them also with the iron so let's quickly go back and put our stuff in our chests aha uh -huh. so i'm probably going to create a chest with all the valuables so let's see how this works um let me get one single chest for now so i'm going to place that chest right up here so we could still open this and this now let's place our redstone and obviously the diamonds i'm gonna move them above the redstone the lapis the iron the redstone more coal we did get more coal uh should coal be part of this i think it should be because coal would help us and we would start sorting our inventories i'm going to make it a double chest because why not it's probably going to be bigger later so yeah why don't we just make one one now i'm gonna get all the gold emeralds redstone enchanted books i don't know maybe even an apple probably not but things like that and i'm going to store it all in here also from best to worst order obviously hmm is lapis better than redstone i think it is Emeralds is better than gold. Um, I think it should be like that, right? Yeah, I think it should be like that. Um, the, I want to keep these down. One grid. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep these at the, the very bottom. Uh, do we have any more valuables? I don't think so. I don't think we do have anything more valuable. Now what I do want to do is, we have iron, so I'm going to quickly, very quickly, could we sleep? We could sleep, 
But what I'm going to do is very quickly smelt the iron up with the coal we have. So let's quickly do that. And maybe we could craft more stuff. So we'll just wait for all the iron to smelt up. While we're at it, why don't we go and also collect some of our trees. There's a lot of wood coming in here. Oh no, I hear zombies. Is that a good sign? No, that's definitely not a good sign. I don't think any of our villages are infected or anything, but I do hear zombies, which is never, ever a good sign. We do have the iron. I'm going to pop it in there. Not there, but there, yes. There we go. And take the iron, put it in. Let's see, could we, we could replant the tree. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Replant the tree. Do I have this planned? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I do. So we could place that down. Everyone's all right, right? One, two, three, four. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's all right. So we don't need to be that worried at all. Let's just place down that oak sapling and see what we have. We have arrows. We have arrows, more bones, a lot of cobble. I wonder what we could do with those. Granite, dirt, diorite, a crafting table. I'm going to always keep that crafting table in my inventory. The food, stuff, one piece of wheat, which we wouldn't need. The rest we could keep. Perfect. We have a bucket. So I'm thinking, like, we don't really need another bucket, right? So maybe we could use that iron next. But... Here is the part I think you've all been waiting for. And finally, it's time for the base progression.
Well, that took a while, didn't it? Well, we're back here, and I was expecting to have like an hour of footage, but time lapsed. But I spent way more time on this than expected, mainly setting up all of it, less building. So here is a bit of the build, and it's getting into nighttime too. So why don't we go and take a little nap, and then I'll show you around. So yeah. I was building for a really long time and it was it took much longer than expected uh, obviously this build isn't finished uh, you could kind of see that right now uh, there's no roof the top is empty but I like it a bit it does look kind of odd though I'm being honest it does look kind of odd that part because we didn't really extend it but when I extend it it will look much better so yeah take a look so here it is um the recording really looked more like a semi montage other than a time lapse so i really didn't like it it took a really long time to render too so i really hope that this kind of makes it for that i'll give it a little so i also got like a little infinite water section i'm not sure if that's actually infinite but yeah, this this is basically what we did today. We did some base progression. Uh, we got some of these brick walls. We got more stuff. This looks all nice. Look at that. Um, everything's... Most of the stem is set up. So, yeah, I took way longer than expected. But because of this, this led to our base being kind of done. Not really done, but like... Actually, I wouldn't even say it's half done, but like we got some prog progression. So yeah, I took a lot of time on this, so it will be great if you could hit that subscribe button right there and also click the notifications bell, please. Um, also share this video um, if you want this series to continue. And yeah, without, I don't have any more to say, so goodbye.